Next, I'm going to read Art Dog by Thatcher Hurd. Arthur Dog was a guard at the Dogopolis Museum of Art. He liked his job. He liked guarding the paintings by Vincent van Dogh and Pablo Poodle. But Leonardo da Vinci was Arthur's favorite painter. Or was it Henry Matisse? Arthur couldn't decide. At night, Arthur came home to his little apartment on West 17th Street, made himself dinner and read until it was time for bed. Arthur led a quiet life. He seldom went out, except on nights when the moon was full. On those nights, Arthur's eyes grew bright and his fur seemed to glisten. It w he would take out a box he kept in his closet, put on his hat and a mask, and tiptoe down the back stairs into the streets of Dogopolis. He crept down the alley, and when he was sure that no one was around, he unlocked the box and took out paints and brushes he painted a splash of lightning and a splash of sunshine and dozens of glowing lights in the night. He painted monsters 10 feet tall, fish with tails the size of a house, frogs ready to hop over skyscrapers. When he was finished, he crept home, a dog alone wondering if anyone ever noticed his paintings. No one saw him paint or, or sign his paintings with a splat of his tail and the name Art Dog. No one knew who Art Dog really was until one night at the museum, crash, a window was broken, a door was busted, ring, the alarm went off. The footsteps clattered down the alley behind the museum. The police screeched and the scene of the crime. The director of the museum was not far behind. Yikes, the Mona Wufa's gone, cried the museum director. Look what they left instead of Leonardo da Vinci. Is this art? Looks like the Mona Luna, Lula to me, said the chief of police. The painting's still wet, said the museum director. Find me the culprit, barked the police chief. They nabbed the first dog they found in the alley. His eyes had a certain glow to them, and his fur seemed to glisten in the moonlight. He also had a paintbrush in his paw. Book him, said the chief of police. They threw him in jail. But when no one was looking, he pulled out a brush and a tube of paint, and he painted a ladder. He climbed up the ladder, and where there were bars, he painted a window and jumped out back onto the streets of Dogopolis. There, he put his nose in the air. What was he sniffing? <gasps> Suddenly, he took out his brush and his paints. Zip, splash, swoosh. He painted himself a brush mobile with his name on the side. Art Dog. He whizzed over to the Acme paint factory and filled up his tank. <laughs> then off he rode into the night over highways and bridges, through the parks and past the ballet, leaving a trail of paint behind him as he went. Th he slammed on his brakes in front of a deserted warehouse. He sniffed, he tiptoed, he looked inside. Three nasty looking mutts were getting ready to ship something to a distant port. 
He took a closer look. It was the Mona. <gasps> Yikes! The mutts turned around. Hey, what are you doing here? said the biggest mutt. Gosh, uh, I, uh, must have made a wrong turn, said Art Dog. You can say that again, said the mutts. It looks like big trouble for Art Dog. There was only one thing left to do. Paint, on guard, ah, do da da da. What a masterpiece, wow, said the chief of police as he arrived at the muse with the museum director. How did you know where the Mona was? Art Dog wiggled his nose. I can smell art a mile away. The director of the museum said, I don't know how to thank you, Mr. Uh, art Dog, said Art Dog, pointing to the brush mobile. Art Dog, I like the way you paint. How about a show at the museum? Sure thing, said Art Dog, as he sped away in his brush mobile. Soon it was the night of Art Dog's show at the Dogopolis Museum of Art. Everyone stood around and sipped their root beer by, as they waited to meet Art Dog and see his paintings. But there were, but where was he? Where were his paintings? And for that matter, wondered the museum director, where's Arthur? He should be on the job tonight. Suddenly, there was a sound. Everyone rushed outside just in time to see Art Dog high in the sky, finishing his masterpiece, City Rhapsody. Everyone was amazed and speechless. Then, suddenly, he was gone. Who was Art Dog? Who was this paint painter in the brushmobile? Catcher of the crooks, bringer of light of the dark Doc Opolis nights. No one knew. But maybe you have an idea, artists. The end.